All right, guys, welcome back to the Card Shark Showdown. Justin took the first game and won $500, but Mark, you've been here before and you made a good comeback on the last game. We'll see if you can do it again. That happened against Matt, and look, and I ended up winning. Yep. So and let's. I'm play catch up again. Yes. Now let's see what happens here. We surveyed 100 prison inmates. These are all men who are currently serving time in Folsom State Prison. And asked them, have you ever eaten frog legs? How many inmates have eaten frog legs? Ew! Disgusting! Tastes just like chicken, folks. Hey. Ugh. 40 of them. Going with 40. All right, Justin, higher or lower than 40? I don't think uh, frog legs are very popular in terms of food, so I'm gonna say that that's lower. Going lower. You guys never had frog legs before. They're very nutritious. But anyway, you say lower. Okay, let's check it out. The actual number of inmates that said that they have eaten frog legs is. It is 51, it is not lower, it is high, so it goes to um, Mark. All right, Mark, here's your opening card. Your opening card, Mark, is a jack. All right, um, well, I had problems with, a, with jacks the last time, so I'm going to play it safe and change this. Okay, you got the right to change it because you won the question. The jack becomes a joker! So that could be a $1,000 bonus for you, Mark, but you have to win the match. You still want to change that, Jack? Uh, yes. All right. The Jack becomes a 10. A little... Ooh, not that much. A bad card. I'll try lower. Lower than a 10. It's a 3. All right, there we go. Higher. Higher than a 3. Oh, no, a double. Justin, free chance at the cards. It's a jack. What? A jack. Oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Last round, Justin and I both started off with twos. Now we both started off with jacks. Roger, I think you gave both of us the same base cards in every round today. <laughs> <laughs> well, I shuffled them randomly, so that's how, just, that's how they came out. Okay. Excuse me, Robbie. Yes. That's what um, Justin Bay caught. Originally, but then I changed it to a ten. Right. Uh, anyway, I better go lower than the jack. Okay, lower than the jack. It's a ten. I'm stopping right there. I'm freezing on the ten. Chances. Protecting his position, and Justin takes some one card lead, and we're going to another question. Okay, Justin, we asked 100 people, have you ever been so bored that you fell asleep at your own party? How many people said they have? I highly doubt that would happen too, too much. Because I think if they, I think everybody who throws their, their party, the people who throw it, I think, uh, are very excited by it, usually. So I don't think that happens too much. So I... I'm going to go very well with this and say 22 of them. Going with 22. All right, Mark, what do you think? Is it higher or lower than 22? I'll say higher. Going higher. Yeah, yeah going higher. All right. All right, let's check it out. The actual number of people that said they have been so bored that they fell asleep at their own party is. It's 25. It is a little higher. Good job, Mark. By three. Yep. All right, Mark, you got the 10. What do you want to do with it? Mm, the 10's an okay card, but I want to be a better one. Okay, you got that right because you won the question. Send the, send the 10 to Ed Burns' drunken bar. We will. The 10 becomes a 6. Ooh, higher. Okay. Higher than a 6. No, it's a 5. Oh. 
Just a free chance. You have the 10, you must play it. Alright. I'm hoping it's lower. Lower than the 10. It's a 4. I'm going to lie. Yeah. Say that again, Justin. Higher. Higher than the 4. It's an 8. 7 plus 1. Freezing and Justin is one card away from being the new champion. And this, and this next question goes to Mark. Are you a little nervous, Mark? Kind of. Okay. We asked one of the people, have you ever hidden something so well that you forgot where you put it? How many people admit they have? Well, some of them are. I, I won't lie to you about it. But what do you think? Okay, before I give my answer, Ronnie, did you run out of questions in your book or something? Well, I'm rereading them again, so. Oh. All right, uh, in that case, uh, 56. Now, if you know the answer, uh, you can go ahead and give it to me. You said 56, okay. Yeah, and just for the record, no, I don't try to memorize the exact answers on these. Oh, okay. Justin Hyde, Lord of 56. Because after all, I don't want to be accused of cheating or anything. <laughs> right. Anyway, uh, well, there's a big question, Rodney. Yeah. Um, we asked one of the people, have you ever hidden something so well that you forgot where you put it? How many people admit they have? And Mark said 56. I'm going to say that's all. Going lower, okay. Let's check it out. The actual number of uh, people who admit they have forgot where they put it at is. If 89 is not lower, it's high, so Mark gets it. All right, Mark, you have the six. What do you want to do with that six? Send it to Edward's junk car. We hope we can get a better car for you, Mark. The six becomes a jack. Ugh, lower. lower than a jack. It's a nine. Uh, I'm gonna have to stop it there. Freezing on the nine, okay. And we add the sudden death question. Somebody must win on this play of the cards. So control is critical. Yes. Well, I'll tell it to them, because I see the cards on the table. Plus, Rodney's the host. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it goes to Justin. All right, Justin, we asked one of the married women, have you ever told your husband a deep, dark secret about your husband and then worried yourself sick it would get back to him? How many women said they have? The actual number of women that said they have told their girlfriend a dark secret about their husband worth themselves sick that will get back to them, it is. It is 10. It is not higher. It is lower. So it goes to Justin. All right, Justin. Now, here's the situation. You have an eight. And you have one card to go before you um, win the match. But you have the power to change that eight. Mark has a nine. And he cannot change that nine. And he has three cards to go before he can win that nine. What is your decision? Uh, pass or play? This one's for you, Mark. Mark you, mu Mark, you must be right on all the cards of Justin as the new champion. If I make it through this, so God help me. And no, I'm not going to be using the Lord's name in vain. Okay. Because I'm not going to be using the Lord's name in vain. Right. You're saying God help you. <laughs> 
Yes, we don't like, they doesn't like when we use the Lord's name in vain. Right, and it's in the Ten Commandments, too. But anyway, Mark, you have to make a call here. Is it higher or lower than the nine? Uh, lower. Lower than the nine. It's a king, we have a new champion. <laughs> wow, Justin. Yes, and we will talk to you in a minute, Justin. Mark, you were a good champion. You're a three-day champion. Um, take home with you twenty-six thousand six hundred dollars. You can use that twenty-six thousand six hundred dollars to any run that you want to put it to. Plus, we're going to put you on the leaderboard to see if that score will hold out for you to be in the tournament, okay? All right, thanks for playing, Mark. And guys, when we come back, we'll be doing the money cards with Justin for $32,000. Stay tuned, you wouldn't wanna miss it.